everyone, it's Carolyn and welcome back to Contemporary Mama. Today's Foodie Friday video is a little bit different as I'm sure you can already tell. I'm not in my kitchen, but I thought it would be really interesting to share some of my favorite all-time cooking shortcuts. You know that I share a lot of recipes here on my channel and some of them are pretty elaborate, but I don't want to make it seem like that's how I cook every single night because I am a busy mom, I'm a working mom, and sometimes we need to throw together a meal fast. So that's why I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite shortcuts in the kitchen with you so that you can whip up a great homemade meal for your family fast. All right, so my very first tip for you might seem pretty obvious, but I just wanted to remind you to incorporate frozen vegetables into your meals. I know that a lot of us sort of have the mindset that fresh is best, but that might not always be the case. I love using frozen vegetables because they are frozen at the peak of freshness. So they are gonna be super ripe and they are already cleaned, peeled, prepped, chopped, Seriously, all the hard work that goes into preparing fruits and vegetables is already done for you. Not to mention that they are really affordable. So some of my favorite ways for using frozen vegetables are just to buy those steamable bags where the vegetables are in a special bag that you can put in your microwave and that steams it for you. So you have frozen broccoli, carrots, corn, whatever vegetable you and your family like, and you can easily serve it alongside whatever you're making for dinner. And it's also great because there is minimal cleanup with those as well. But that's not the only way that you can incorporate frozen vegetables into your meals. My favorite way to do it is by using these bags of frozen onions. Seriously, who here enjoys peeling and cutting onions? I know I have really sensitive eyes and my eyes are always watering when I'm chopping onions. That's why you never see my face when I'm doing it on camera. But seriously, they do all the hard work for you. They peel them, chop these up so they're perfectly uniform. And there are so many recipes that start out sauteing onions. So this is so great. You can just grab this bag from your freezer. And most of the time, if you buy the generic brand, they only cost about a dollar. Some of my other favorite ways to incorporate frozen vegetables are to get a little bit creative. Like you can buy these bags of multicolored peppers and you have the easiest fajita night ever. You just have to saute these up with some shrimp or chicken. I also love buying these blends of these Asian stir fries. Again, you can just steam these, add in chicken or shrimp and some teriyaki sauce and you have a delicious Asian stir fry. And then since you guys know that a lot of times I'm trying to eat low carb, my favorite way to eat rice cauliflower is to buy these frozen bags. Seriously, this saves so much time. Instead of putting that big head of cauliflower in my food processor, ricing it up and then steaming it, seriously, I can just pop this in my microwave or I can saute it in a pan and it's done. And then I also love mashed cauliflower. This is a great mashed potato substitute. It's super creamy and your family will not know that they're not eating mashed potatoes. Again, saves so much time because instead of washing, chopping the cauliflower, boiling it, and then mashing it, all you have to do is pop this in the microwave as well. So if you go up and down your freezer aisle, you will see so many different ways that you can incorporate frozen vegetables into your meals and it's gonna cut way down on your prep time, I promise. So shortcut number two is sort of along the same lines and that is because I love using these little cubes of ginger and garlic. These add so much flavor to your meals, but if you have ever tried to peel and rinse up fresh ginger, you know that it is such a pain. In most recipes, you only need a little bit because the flavor is so strong that the rest of it tends to go to waste and then you're just wasting money. So that's why I love buying these little cubes of ginger in my freezer section. They have it at most grocery stores. They also have it at Trader Joe's. So that you can just pop out one of these cubes and then one cube equals a teaspoon of fresh minced ginger and you can just throw it in whatever recipe you are using. These are seriously so handy. I honestly used fresh ginger once in my entire life. It was such a pain and I swore I was never gonna use it again. But since I love the taste of ginger, that is why I am obsessed with these. I make sure that I have two of these in my freezer at all time because I throw this in so many recipes because again, I really love ginger. And then I thought I had the garlic one in my freezer as well, but I probably ran out. 
If you guys know me, you know that I am a bit of a garlic addict, but I'm also a bit of a garlic snob. So I, most of the time, am using fresh garlic in all my recipes. I always make sure I have a ton of fresh garlic on hand. But again, it takes a bit of time to peel the garlic, mince it up, and then you gotta clean out your garlic mincer. So again, just adds more time and more time to your cleanup as well. So this is pretty much the only alternative to fresh garlic that I like. Again, it's just minced garlic. In these little cubes, you can pop one out and use it in your recipes. And because it is frozen straight from being fresh, it tastes just like, you know, fresh minced garlic. If you are one of those people that uses minced garlic in a jar, then that's another great shortcut. Personally, I just can't get past the taste. I just don't think it tastes the same. So if you are a garlic snob like me, then check out um, your grocery store for this brand. It comes in ginger and garlic. It's the Dorot, Dorot brand, D-O-R-O-T. Again, this is a great way to add a ton of flavor to whatever you are cooking with absolutely zero effort. Okay, so my cooking shortcut number three has to do with prepping your chicken. If you are like me, you probably use a lot of chicken press in your kitchen for making dinner and making meals. And for years and years and years, I used a knife to sort of just trim off the excess skin and fat from my chicken breast, and it took so long. And it wasn't until a couple of years ago that I went to a pampered chef party and I got myself a pair of really good kitchen shears. And I honestly never knew what kitchen shears are for. You probably think I'm a little bit silly. I honestly just thought they were scissors. But kitchen shears are amazing for trimming chicken. You can trim off all that skin, all that fat so easily. It is so much faster than using a knife, especially if you don't have really high quality knife set. Kitchen shears are amazing for that. So my next shortcut also has to do with using chicken and it is a tip for making shredded chicken or shredded meat in general super fast. Shredded chicken, shredded pork, shredded beef are such a great way to make a big batch of meat and use it for multiple meals throughout the week, but shredding it with two forks can be such a pain in the neck. But I learned a really easy trick on how to shred it super fast and you can do it if you have a stand mixer or even just a hand mixer. Just put your chicken in the bowl, turn on your mixer and it is gonna shred it in literally seconds. It's gonna save you so much time and energy. Your hands aren't gonna get sore from going to town with your forks trying to shred up that meat. You can let your mixer do all the work and you have a ton of shredded meat that you can use in so many different recipes. I'm talking about tacos, enchiladas, pizza. I mean, you name it, you can use it. So if you saw my last freezer cooking video, then you already know this tip, but it is such a good one and it is to use oven ready lasagna noodles. I know if you are an Italian grandma, you are probably rolling your eyes like crazy, but just hear me out on this. I absolutely love lasagna, so does my husband, but it is pretty time consuming. There are a lot of steps. You gotta make the sauce, you gotta do the cheese mixture, you gotta layer everything together. It takes an hour to bake. So any way that I can cut down on the time to prep making the lasagna so that I can whip it up on a weeknight, then I'm just gonna call that a win. So these oven ready lasagna noodles are available from a wide variety of you know different brands. This is just the store brand from my grocery store. So these are awesome because you do not have to boil them. You can just go ahead and lay them in your lasagna pan and then the sauce uh, in the lasagna is just going to soften them and I swear they'll be perfectly cooked. I love using this trick to whip up a lasagna super fast and I honestly can't tell the difference between these and the ones that you have to boil ahead of time. All right, so for my next shortcut, I'm really upset that I literally just found out about this really recently, but it is to use a pizza cutter to cut up your fresh herbs. And I love using fresh herbs when I'm cooking. I seriously can't wait till it's summer so I can get my herb garden going again. But chopping up fresh herbs can be a little bit of a pain, especially things like cilantro or parsley or thyme where they're so tiny and it's hard to kind of get them together so you can use your knife to cut them up. So seriously, this is genius. You just have to lay them on your cutting board and then use your pizza cutter to cut them all up. It's pure genius. I can't believe I didn't think of it myself, but I'm so happy that I learned this trick. I'm gonna be using it all the time. 
Okay, so for my next trick, you are gonna need one of these little apple cutters. I love apples, so I love using these all the time to make apple slices, but there are also a lot of other ways that you can use this, and my favorite one is to use it when you are cutting up potatoes sweet potatoes or regular potatoes, you can just use this to press down on your potato and it is gonna cut it into perfectly proportioned wedges. Great for roasting in the oven, serving with your dinner, and it's gonna be done in a flash. So my very last shortcut isn't exactly for cooking, but it is definitely for cleaning up, and that is to utilize a dump bowl. So if you've seen my videos before, a lot of times you'll see just a little bowl sitting next to where I'm chopping or cutting or peeling, and that is where I just throw all of my food scraps in here. Seriously, any vegetable or fruit scraps, um, eggshells, literally anything at all that I no longer need and is gonna end up in the trash. I just throw it in this bowl so that I don't have to make multiple trips to my trash can and my countertop isn't getting cluttered with food waste. So I just throw all my scraps in here and then when I'm all done cooking, I just dump this into the trash can and it seriously cuts down so much on cleanup. All right, so that is gonna be it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you got a few tips on how to make cooking quicker and easier and more efficient for you. If you really enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you are new. And if you have any favorite cooking shortcuts that I didn't mention in this video, I would just love it if you would leave them down in the comments down below so that we in this community can learn from you. If you're interested in a part two of this video, also leave that in the comments down below because I have a lot more cooking shortcuts that I use on my weeknights when I'm in a rush. So again, let me know if you're interested in a part two of this video, and then I'll see you on Tuesday with a brand new video. Thanks again for watching. Bye. I love you. I give you everything.